Hello, my name is Karina and welcome to Vegan Sazon. In today's video, we're going to be making vegan flan and it's super creamy and delicious and you're going to love it. So if you're interested, keep on watching this video. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is make the condensed milk. This step is essential to make the flan. You need condensed milk in this recipe. So to do that, you're going to need a can of coconut milk, any brand you like, and one cup of sugar. You could also try using a different non-dairy milk for this, but I find that the condensed coconut milk tastes the most like regular condensed milk. Then you're going to mix the sugar and milk together in a pot on low medium heat and then place the lid on slightly because it's going to splatter as it cooks. Now cook this for about 35 to 40 minutes until it is reduced by half. It'll end up looking like this and the color will end up more translucent compared to the white color it had at the beginning. Then pour this into a heat safe container and keep it in the fridge while you work on the rest of the recipe. And this should make about one cup of condensed milk. The next thing we will work on is the caramel sauce. Add half a cup of sugar to a pan and cook that on low heat. Once the sugar starts to melt, stir constantly so it does not burn. Very important. When it reaches this dark color, turn off the heat and add 1 fourth cup of warm water. You want to do this fast and then step away because it's going to get a little crazy. Once it has calmed down, stir to combine the water with the sugar to get a nice syrup. And you can also just skip this step and buy some coconut palm syrup. It's perfect for flung. And as you can see, I've used up almost the entire container. Now get your flanera or any mold or bowl and pour the caramel into it. And move it around so the caramel gets on all the edges. And now we're finally going to start working on the flung. Pour two and one fourth cups of soy milk into a pot and to that add one teaspoon of agar powder. And this is basically a plant-based version of gelatin. It's what's going to firm up the flan like eggs would do in traditional flan. So whisk that together and cook on high. And very important, do not leave your kitchen while you're doing this step. Once it comes to a boil, you want to immediately turn off the heat and start whisking because if not, it will boil over and spill everywhere. Now here you want to work quickly. To a blender, add silk and tofu. This will add creaminess to the flan. Also add vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, a sprinkle of turmeric or bihol if you have it to add color. Add the condensed milk and the soy milk. Blend everything until smooth. Then pour this into your flanera or container and refrigerate for three hours or even better, just refrigerate it overnight. As it cools in the refrigerator, the agar powder will start to firm up the flan. Once your flan is nice and cold, flip it onto a plate and serve. And look how beautiful.
you can even make cute little flans too. And in this batch, I didn't forget to add Behold, and you can see that the color is a little yellow compared to the flan before that was almost completely white. So that was the recipe, very simple to make, and I'm gonna eat some of the flan for you on camera. Here's the beautiful flan. Look at that jiggliness. Mira eso. Mm. Oh my god. It is so good. This is definitely in my top favorite vegan recipes ever because I really used to love flan when I was younger because my mom would make flan for every single occasion. Any chance she got, she would make flan. So I grew up eating flan a lot. So I'm very happy and excited that I have this recipe to show everyone because it's, it's good. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video and that you enjoy this recipe. And if you do try out this recipe, please tag me at Vegan Sazon on Instagram or Twitter. Show me your creations, show me your food. I'd love to see it all. And any other information will be down below in the description box with the recipe link on my blog in both English and Spanish. Again, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.